यू कैन सी आई हैव so many acne scars literally everywhere and this makeup will always look like makeup it is never going to look like your skin this is how the skin looks in person there are creases hi everyone i am rebeen welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel I'm also known as PKB. Uh, if you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and follow me right now because we just crossed 120k and we have a huge PKB fam. So please join the army. I believe in promoting body positivity and skin positivity, and I was also featured as India's first skin positive influencer. In this video, I'm going to be taking you up close and personal uh, to my skin. Uh, we're going to do a nice. skin care uh, for acne prone acne scarred skin people uh, and we're going to have like a nice transformation i'm going to tell you products that actually work for acne prone acne scarred skin so if you're someone that's interested to see something like that then definitely keep on watching but before that if this is the first time you're seeing me hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get updated every single time i upload a video without any further ado let's just get started for your makeup to last really long and look really good and healthy on your skin i feel it's very very important to go in with a good skincare routine before you start with anything i'm going to be going in with the 10% niacinamide serum from the derma co now i have been really really enjoying using this product especially because you can see i have so many acne scars literally everywhere and this has been helping me fade them out i think 10% is the perfect concentration for what you need on your skin i think this does a really good job i love the texture of this product i've also used the salicylic one and i think it does wonders to my skin dermaco is a brand that supports filter free skin they believe that you need to love the way your skin is i absolutely love that about the brand brand uh, discloses all of the ingredients and the percentages on the product itself which is really good they've scientifically chosen the ingredients that work for particular skin types and accordingly uh, they've made the products so i really trust the brand it's a very honest and um trustworthy brand if you are someone that wants to get your hands on this product then it will be there in the link in the description you can also use this code and get discounts with that being said uh, let's just move ahead because we're done with skin prep um i'm just going to go in uh, put some sunscreen and get that okay so whenever i'm starting my makeup i go in with a pore filling primer now this is the one from cal los angeles uh it's a very nice mattifying primer so i just take like one pump on each side and i start like buffing it in and just massaging it on my skin it's very moisturizing and it does a very good job for foundation uh i'm going to mix two foundations uh the maybelline fit me uh both of these are of the same formula it's the newest formula the clay version uh it has spf 22 uh so i'm mixing 115 with 128 because this is a pink undertone this is a yellow undertone and i have neutral undertone so we're just going to mix that and put it on our face so let's just do that Oh my god it's exactly my shade Because I'm very pink as compared to my neck Really zooming you in so you see how this gives like how it sits on the skin i want you to see very closely and i'm not taking it under my eyes because anyway we're going to be putting concealer so you don't want to like overdo it because makeup will always look like makeup it is never going to look like your skin and you need to know that you need to accept your skin the way it is You can see the tiniest of details here. There is texture, 
and it's all visible too. For concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline's Fit Me Honey. This is exactly my skin shade, so I like to go in with a dark, like, concealer. look it's not going to look airbrushed it's not going to look like flawless without any texture without any pores this is how real skin looks this is how makeup looks on your skin uh, scars everything is visible texture is still visible I have a lot of pigmentation on my neck so uh, don't think that it's looking very dark it's because I have a lot of pigmentation on my neck which is why it's looking like that uh, I go in with the K Beauty's uh, setting powder, HD setting powder in the shade Banana. Now this is really nice, very lightweight. Now I'm going to do my eyes. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty's sand palette and just you know give my eyes a little bit of color because everything looks pretty dull right now. Um, so I'm just gonna take like a fluffy brush. I love Cuffs and Lashes brushes. They're very nice. Uh, and I'm just going to go in with like a nice neutral shade and put that on the crease. Blend it out really nicely. Exactly see what I'm doing. I'm just going to create a very simple uh, shadow on the outer corner and just pull it upwards so that it gives me a nice lifted kind of an effect. It just gives like a little nice depth. I'm just taking a flat brush, taking a light shade and putting it on the inner side to give it that nice gradient effect. I'm going in with the Maybelline's Colossal Mascara. This is uh, the non-waterproof one. It also comes in a waterproof Vala variant, which I uh, like, but uh, I'm gonna go in with this one because it's easily removable. You can see the difference immediately. My eyelashes look bomb. I'm not going to put um, a mascara on my lower lash line. Uh, skin looks really good. Moving on to blush, I'm taking the Nykaa's blush. We're gonna keep it like very blushy and cute. I always like to go in with like a lot of blush because I think it just gives my face a nice dimension and it just suits me personally. I put a little on my nose to give it that flushed look. 
This is my patent look. Like, I love to do this look. And for lipstick, we're gonna go in with Miss Claire's uh, lipstick in the shade 02. It's their matte power lip color. It's the perfect dupe for my favorite lipstick, which is the Milani Cosmetics um, Loved So Gorge. The pigment is to die for. That is pretty much the final look. And this look, I'm going to go in with my my Max Fix Plus to just pull the entire look together, so it doesn't look powdery. Because right now, if you uh, zoom in. I want to show you. This is how the skin looks in person. There are creases. There's cuts, there's creases, there's texture visible. There's texture visible here as well on my phone. So I want you to know that whatever you see on social media is not filter free they're not going to show you how the skin looks in person i'm telling you this is how the skin looks in person this is how makeup looks on your skin it's never perfect so doing your skincare right is going to take you such a long way doing your makeup according to your skin type is also very important don't go in with very dry uh, foundations that just leave patches on your skin you don't have to follow everything and look at everything on social media and feel insecure about yourself because because you my darling are going to always always be beautiful just the way you look it's never going to be compared it never should be compared to anything you see on social media because it's filtered, they use so much Photoshop, they use so many filters, um, they use Adobe, they use the smoothening effect and that is why you look at pictures and feel, oh my god, she has such good skin. But actually it's not, it's not real skin. Real skin always has texture, real skin always has flaws and that is what it is. So whenever you post anything related to related on social media use the hashtag no filter with pkb and tag me so you can be on this journey with me of self-love of acceptance and just loving yourself immensely uh, so we're just gonna finish this off by putting that's a lot of fix plus but i just needed it because the makeup just soaks in whenever i put um, fix plus and it just it just makes me so happy uh so yeah that is pretty much it for today's video i really really hope you all enjoyed watching it if you all did give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you get updated every single time i come here um and i will see you super super soon uh stay tuned and i'm so excited for you to be a part of this journey along with me so yeah okay bye love you guys all the links will be in the description so don't forget to check that out